you have suffered from allergies before, seasonal allergies, rhinitis, you know that there is nothing to compare with it, especially during the spring season and the fall, where all these pollens are released and the trees, and people have itchy eyes and runny nose and coughing and sneezing. You can't sleep, it's very uncomfortable. And most people will resort to taking over-the-counter medications or even sometimes steroids. But on today's video, I'm going to show you things that can be done naturally at home, natural remedies that has been proven by science to work to relieve these allergy symptoms. Because allergies are caused by the release of histamines that causes all the symptoms. So the natural remedies I'm going to show you have been backed by randomized controlled trials and they actually help stop the release of histamines and therefore the symptoms that people experience during the allergy season. The first one is called Bata Burr. Bata Burr. Now Bata Burr is, uh, is a leaf or a plant that has been shown in several clinical trials and actually as compared to most of the antihistamines that we see over the counter or that are given to us by prescription this butterbear works by blocking the release of histamines and actually perform the same function as most of the antihistamines that we take over the counter and the good news is that it does not make you drowsy and it works by blocking, like I said, the histamines and what we call lycotrienes. And these will, these are the things that causes allergies. So Bata Bear has several clinical studies and is good for allergy symptoms. Now, if you want to get a Bata Bear, it's better to get the PA free supplement. The PA free supplement is what you are looking for that is safe to use. Um, to treat your allergy symptom. The second one is what we call stinging nettle. Stinging nettle. This is a plant that also block the release of histamines and therefore easing uh, sneezing and itchy eyes and runny nose and the nasal congestion that people actually uh, experience during the allergy seasons. And you can obtain this in the form of a supplement or in the form of a tea and this will help release or relieve your allergy symptoms. The third one is called quercetin. Quercetin, a combination of quercetin and vitamin C. In fact, quercetin can be found in things like berries, um, apples, um, you can have onions have quercetin uh, in them. And the clinical trials and the research have shown that quercetin actually stabilizes what we call the mast cells because these mast cells release histamines and these are the things that cause the symptoms of allergies. And also vitamin C has a mild antihistamine effect. So combining uh, quercetin, you can get them in the form of a supplement, the natural ones, and combine with vitamin C, you have the combined effect of these two and that will stop and minimize your allergy symptoms. Or you can just get a bowl of citrus um, and berry smoothie. You can get a good one and taking them will help you um, to relieve the symptoms of allergies. The, the last but not the least is probiotics. Yes, probiotics. In fact, your gut health has been linked with allergy symptoms. And studies have shown that taking probiotics can balance your immune system and reduce your allergy flare-up. So if you're somebody who have chronic allergies, eczema, and, and any of those, hay fever, maybe you need to look at your gut uh, health because probiotic like um, the Greek yogurt, uh, kefir, or um, even some of the supplements, the probiotic supplements, may be something that may be helpful to you. Now, is there a particular strain of probiotics you can use? Well, there are several studies have been done, and they use strains like Lactobacillus uh, paracase, Lactobacillus paracase, or Lactobacillus rhamnosus, or Bifido 
bacterium strains and these are the ones that are used and actually the studies were done in pregnant women during prenatal and postnatal and also people with hay fever and symptoms were actually reduced significantly so this is something that you more want to look at and take on a regular basis probiotic if you have allergies because treating your gut symptoms or your gut flora or your gut health may help reduce some of these allergy symptoms now if this video has been helpful to you um, I want you to subscribe to the channel and also give us a like and leave us a comment if you use any of these natural remedies or if they've used any other natural remedies that are not mentioned here as in backed by science I want you to leave a comment here for our viewers because somebody may benefit from it like I always say that 21st century you are your own physician and so having certain information in your portfolio can help keep your health so until then, Dr. Moses, I'll see you on the next video.